Fascinating Language Facts 1. The most widely spoken language in the world is Mandarin. There are 885 million people in China who speak it. English is the second most widely spoken language. 2. There are more people in China who speak English than there are in the United States. 3. There are 13 languages that 100 million people or more speak. These languages are Mandarin, English, Hindi, Spanish, Russian, Arabic, Bengali, Portuguese, Malay Indonesian, French, Japanese, German, and Urdu. 4. There are about 7,000 languages spoken in the world today. However, about 2,000 of these languages have fewer than 1,000 speakers. 5. The language which has the world's largest alphabet is Cambodian. It has 74 letters. The language with the shortest alphabet is Rotokis, used in the Solomon Islands. It has only 11 letters. 6. It is believed that nearly half of the estimated 7,000 languages currently spoken in the world will have become extinct by 2050. 7. Some of the languages that people speak in Africa include a clicking sound. These languages sound different from and are not related to any other known language. It is believed that the click languages may be the earliest human languages. These languages can only be spoken properly by those who acquire the language in childhood. 8. Arabic has influenced many languages. Many words in English have been borrowed directly or indirectly from Arabic. Such words include admiral, adobe, alchemy, algebra, alkaline, amber, arsenal, candy, carrot, coffee, cotton, hazard, jar, lemon, mattress, sofa, and a lot more. 9. There are about 800,000 words in the English language. This is more words than any other language in the world. But people who speak English routinely use only about 1% of the immense number of words in the language. 10. Punctuation did not exist in English until the 15th century. English language facts. 11. Go is the shortest complete sentence in the English language. 12. The English language has only one solitary word that ends in the letter MT. It is dreamt. 13. Bookkeeper is the only English word that has three consecutive doubled letters. 14. There is no word in the English language that rhymes with month, orange, silver, or purple. 15. The word that has more definitions in the English language than any other is set.
This restaurant is jam-packed. I know. I had to elbow my way through the crowd just to get to the buffet table for some munchies. And the people's voices are way too loud. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. What did you say? I said, the people's voices are way too loud. Hey, did you see that guy in the blue suit? He seems to be familiar. Oh, yeah, he's the captain of the football team. What's his name? Ian Ford. Sorry you're bored, but I was asking you the name of that guy. No, I said his name is Ian Ford. Oh, sorry. The people's voices are ridiculously loud. So, what's he like? He's okay. The only thing he's interested in is sports. I find him a bit boring. Pardon? You found him snoring? Oh, forget it. This is crazy. Trying to talk over this noise is too difficult. Yeah, I can't deal with it anymore. Do you want to leave? What do you want to tell Steve? No, I said let's leave. We can get a bite at the diner on the corner. Yeah, let's go. Tina. You know one of the things that I find most difficult about acquiring a new language? I feel like sometimes I use the wrong word. Then I end up expressing something different than what I mean to say. Badria. I know what you mean. Just last week, my English teacher asked me what I was going to do on the weekend. I said, I'm preparing dinner for several goats tonight. My teacher's eyes widened, and I could tell she was trying to hold back a laugh. <laughs> then I realized that I had said goats instead of guests. Paula. Oh, we've all had that kind of thing happen. Last year I was studying abroad. During the summer, my mother came out to visit for a few weeks. I was telling a classmate about meeting my mother at the airport, and I said, my mother gave me a big egg. My classmate looked surprised, and she said, is that a traditional gift in your country? That's when I realized that I had said egg instead of hug. Tina. Sometimes it's not a matter of using the wrong word. Sometimes the word can be right, but the way it's used can be wrong. One time I told a friend, while I was walking to your house, a big shower suddenly fell on me. My friend said, ouch, that must have hurt. I thought about it for a moment and realized my mistake. Of course, I had meant to say, I got caught in a sudden shower. Amira. Sometimes, even a simple thing, like spelling something wrong, can lead to a disaster. One time, a friend tried a piece of cake I had baked. She loved it, and even though she had never baked anything before, she asked me for the recipe. The following week, she told me she had baked the cake, and it was terrible. I looked at the recipe I'd given her and realized that I had written, Add two cups of flour. But instead of spelling flour, F-L-O-U-R, I had spelled it F-L-O-W-E-R. And she had actually added flowers. One. A. You know one of the things that I find most difficult about learning English? B. You know one of the things that I find most difficult about learning English? 
too. A. I know what you mean. B. I know what you mean. 3. A. We've all had that kind of thing happen. B. We've all had that kind of thing happen. 4. A. Is that a traditional gift in your country? B. Is that a traditional gift in your country?